also this is definitely not a video I'm used to doing or an angle I'm used to doing so I should probably get into a slightly better angle and dress to 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 do this better. So my recent obsession on YouTube has been vlogs, specifically from two YouTubers, Monica and Shelby Church, and they do kind of like what I describe as like high quality but like 2012 style vlogs, you know, with like the music, the text, the just day-to-day -day life, and I kind of thought I could try vlogging for a week. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with my life, which is why it's probably a week rather than daily vlogs, because I stay in this room here for most of my time. But I have a few things to do this week, and I thought it could maybe be fun to try and make content the same way. So that's what it says. If you're seeing it, congrats me, I did the video. But today's agenda isn't too much. We need to do some work. I need to maybe paint, and then I'm filming a video with Wisp for his channel. So, let's dive into it. So, one of the things on my agenda today, which isn't a usual thing, is actually a DIY project. Also, I'm like partially in the sun, just, you know, oh god, that's too much, that's too much. And today we're in my bedroom because we're painting. I want this wall all of this colour. Like the entire thing, just this colour of green. So, I'm gonna try that, but... I first need to move everything like forward. I need to basically pull every single thing in this area forward so I can actually get into do it. So I'm I'm gonna do that. Okay, I have cleared space behind the bed, so now I have like a meter of space to kind of do things. So I'm probably going to start doing some like taping along like here and the skirting board. And then I guess I get to painting. So we'll see. Okay, so I have put the uh, tape around the kind of edges. And then I have my paint here, which is this lovely kind of like sagey green color. It goes a little bit darker. It's hard to tell with the changes in kind of light. But that's the colour we're going with, looks super cute, and I'm excited to paint. So this is the wall. It's kind of patchy. It's only had one coat and you can still see like where the samples were kind of thing. But I am out of time for today because I need to go and film with Wisp. So that's, I'm going to sort of clean up the paint thing, put all that away and then I'll probably leave that for today and tomorrow, hopefully finish up. I think I'll probably need another one, maybe two coats and then we'll be done. Okay, so we've filmed the video for Kit. I might end up using the footage as well. Um, I'm not going to see what it was because I think this might end up being out before that is. So you'll just need to wait and see. Um, but now that we're done that, it was me, Jack, Kit, Jago, Captain Sparkles and Vicstar. All of us doing that. Um, and then me and Jack have got some tortilla stuff. Ignored the other sodas. But I've got like tortilla, which is basically Mexican food like Chipotle. Um, so we've got that, I'm gonna enjoy this. And then I might stream later on. I'll see you all later, thank you anyway. Bye. Okay, so it's Tuesday night. I had to get up early because I had a doctor's appointment, which was just like over the phone, but that's done. I've rewarded myself by ordering a McDonald's breakfast, which will be here any minute now. I'm gonna get on with some work and hopefully finish painting because my bed was just like halfway in the room all night. So hopefully we get that done. Okay, paint time. I've got the paint ready and let's just see. I think it's probably gonna take another two coats. So maybe like we do one now and then I do one later on today because it kind of goes patchy. So we'll see. Oh. 
Okay, so the room painting is almost done. I'll show you. So this is what we have here. It looks a lot bit darker on camera than it is in person, especially in like these darker bits, like here. It's not that dark. But it only needs a couple more touch-ups probably. I've just done another sort of coat around the edges here, which is why you can see it's a little bit wet. But I think once it's done, we'll be able to peel the tape off and maybe do one more coat of paint and then I should be good to go. It'll be nice when it's fully finished. I'm very excited to see it. And then I'm gonna leave it as just that wall for a while, but I am tempted to also do this wall, like right up to this door, and then also do this little bit next to that door and kind of have it as like a, a wraparound feature wall rather than just like the one wall. But I'm gonna do the one wall, see what I think, and then if I like it, I'll run it on this wall. But that will be a down the line job. We'll see. And voila! The wall is done. I also changed my bed and put some nice new bedding on, put everything back where it's meant to be, and it looks super cute. I really love the color. As I said, I still might eventually do the kind of like paint this wall as well, and then there is a tiny wall behind this curtain, you don't really see it. But I think that's what I might eventually do to make like a kind of like wrap around wall. But I think it looks super cute. It took me a couple days to do. The paint took a little bit longer to layer than I thought it would, but I really like it. I think it makes it super like cozy, super kind of like calming, this kind of sage green, super, super nice. So very happy. Okay, it's much later in the day and there's something I have, it's not really a DIY. This light is also very harsh, but it's not a DIY, but I've got a lamp because in our hallway in this area, it's missing something. And I tried a plant and it didn't look right. So I've got a cool lamp that I'm gonna try and build. And I think it'll go quite well here. So, we'll try that and see what it works out like. There we go, it's done. And I even got like a smart plug. So you can just do that to turn it off, and that to turn on. I mean, you can set like timers and such, so it'll come on and off on its own. And if I turn off the downstairs lights, this is what it looks like. It actually gives off a good amount of light, and I just like the kind of like shape of it and the big shade, so very impressed. I just got it from Wayfair, so super cute. Now I also got this box today, which is from Twitch, and they sent me a bunch of goodies, which is fun. We've got a partner bottle here. I don't know what this is. I really can't tell. It comes with like this one wire, but I have no idea. Some socks, some pin badges. There's a blanket down there that's super cute. Really cool. So this is my dinner tonight. Again, because I was painting all day, I just ordered Nando's. I would lie to you and say that I don't order in a lot. I do, but this is what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna find something to watch on uh, my computer and that's me. Okay, so it is now Wednesday and it's actually the one day of the week I don't really have anything planned. I did my painting yesterday. I need to film a video, probably edit a video. But other than that, there's nothing like amazing that I need to do today. And then tomorrow, this one's going to the vet, along with a few other things. Tomorrow's a busy day. But today, not so much. So, it is now the next day, and today was meant to be quite a busy day, but things have been changed around, people cancelled and such, so now, I think the only thing I need to really do is take this one to the vet. We're going to a new vet, because we've not been before, well, not since we moved, and I don't know how I get her from here into there, because she doesn't enjoy it, but I'm sure it will be an adventure, won't it? Look at you just being a model. Stunning.
cut and bag. Amazing, stunning. Never been done before. It's actually not normally that easy, so woo! So it is a while later now. We are back from the vets. Elle is here. She has forgiven me for taking her to the vets. Um, they managed to sort out the few things that we needed to or most of it. I need to go back in a couple of weeks to finish up because she did kind of get to her wits end and was not impressed anymore. So we kind of had to call it quits and we're like, we'll try again in a couple of weeks. So that'll be fine. But as I said, I fed her when I got back in. She has now forgiven me and is now asleep next to me. So that's good. But I am now going to edit an Empire's video and see about getting that out. So that's the plan. So, it is now 10 p.m. the next day. I basically forgot that the vlog existed today. Um, since yesterday, I built a new chair, which you can see here, it's a, it's the Secret Lab, like Minecraft one, but it's just a big upgrade from this one, which I've had for like five years. So, super comfy, way more cute, love that. Elle is also in her bed. She has forgiven me from the vet incident. Um, she had to get a little bit shaved out and we need to go back to get the rest because she'd had enough, but she has forgiven me for now. But I've just been so busy with like doing bits, I've been streaming a lot more, um, and I just kind of forgot that the vlog exists because I'm not obviously going to do this while I'm live, so that's been the hard bit. But I have also started a new job, which is cleaning in my wardrobe. This is a bunch of shirts and such which I'm going to give to like a charity shop. Um, and then in here are the shirts I'm kind of keeping. So um, I have like some flannels here, some kind of long over shirts here, and then it's like shirts and like patterns, and then striped shirts. I had so many like florals and that that I used to wear, but in the last like few months, my dress style has totally changed. Like I know I'm in, neutrals and muted tones rather than super bright colourful things and it's just like insane I've changed completely of what I would usually wear. My next job is actually these cupboards. Um, these are all of my sweaters and jackets and fleeces and such and like hoodies and everything I have so many here but again my style has changed and I don't wear 90% of these so I'm gonna kind of get rid of them and get rid of a bunch. The other thing, um, Wisp and Jago were over earlier um, because we did Christmas presents uh, back at Christmas but I didn't give them theirs before Christmas, mine from them hadn't came in but it had now so in this box they got me like a fancy cocktail kit thing and then stuff to make a pina colada because that's like my favourite cocktail. That was from Jago but then Kit got me these really cool Converse shoes which are so cute, I love them. I love the like rainbow on the side and the bottom's all rainbow as well. So these will get added to my ridiculously massive shoe collection. For context, when I say massive collection, this cupboard is, is just a shoe cupboard. Like I'm, I'm not I'm not joking, it's like a shoe shop. I mean the top shoes aren't mine, they're Jack's, but like everything here is mine. All of those, mine. I probably need to go through and get rid of some of them too, but they're just so pretty. I don't wanna. Okay, the wardrobe is done. So I have coats and kind of jackets down there, zippers, like hoodies with zips are up here, hoodies are here, and then sort of sweaters and like jumpers, like kind of knitted jumpers, and these are all my kind of colourful knitted jumpers, and then these are my neutral knitted jumpers. So I got them a bit more organised, it's nice to kind of see everything. This is the pile of everything I'm getting rid of of these. I just, I had a lot of stuff. Honestly, like, my style has been kind of the same in, for the last, like, I don't know, four or five years. And it meant every time I was empty my wardrobe, I didn't really want to get rid of stuff. I kind of held on to a lot of things because I was like, it's still cute. Whereas now, my style's changed so much that, like, a lot of the stuff I'm like, I wouldn't wear that anymore. I wouldn't wear that bright thing or I wouldn't wear that thing. Or it's like, or I have three of those. Like, 
Honestly, the brightest stuff I'm keeping are, I love these kind of colorful sweaters because I like wearing them with like a popped collar over it. And then I really like yellows and kind of mustard stuff. So that's like I've got one fleece still, but I have a black one, which is KDA. I've got a green olive one, which I'm really into this color right now. A cream one, a yellow one, and then I've got these kind of blue and burgundy ones, but they're the kind of like Sherpa on the inside. So they're only like for winter. But yeah, successful done. So my room is kind of a mess. Just ignore everything that's not meant to be here. But this is all the shirts and such that I'm getting rid of. And it's a mix of like, some don't fit. And then like, this is just not my style really anymore. Like I was saying, it's changed a lot in the last few months. Like I'm pretty sure I bought this last summer. And Marie Kondo's words, none of it sparks joy anymore. So it's gone. No, I did. I had got some new clothes that I hadn't put in my wardrobe yet. Which are these like kind of corduroy style. Like these two are short sleeved, almost like waffle shirts. And then these three are kind of like mix matched corduroy. So like one part's dark blue and the rest is light blue. One's dark blue, the other's brown. And then one's kind of a salmon pink color with a kind of blue half. As you can see kind of here. So they're fun and new. I've just not had a chance to wear them, but this looks much better. I was saying it's all muted such, and then this is very colorful. <laughs> I realized that what I said earlier doesn't fully match up. I saw like a couple prints, like these are my kind of print t-shirts here, the, the few that I still have left, but I think this definitely feels better. The bit I'm not looking forward to emptying is this. This is the drawer of Durand. It just has so many t-shirts. Like, as you can see, this is one, this is two, and then I still have laundry on my bed that I need to put away. Yay! But it is now 2 a.m. So I'm done my packing or unpacking of my wardrobe, so like getting rid of stuff, I'm done that for tonight. Um, I'm going to put away this laundry and then get ready and go to bed. It's already Friday. Well, now technically Saturday and it does not feel like a weekend. But yeah, I have no idea how this video is going to turn out. This could be a really boring vlog. And if it is, I'm sorry. But anyway, I'm going to go to bed. So, night. It's now Saturday. I've had some groceries delivered and I'm going to try and put that away. I also bought a bunch of stuff to do like overnight oats. You know, to try and give me something to eat when I wake up rather than ordering in all the time. So, I'm going to make one of these tonight and we'll see how they go. But for now, I'm just going to put all this away. Okay, so that is the shopping put away now. Now I'm gonna make my lunch. Now, again, I decided to order something for lunch. Well, not order, I, I got it in my delivery. But basically, I'm gonna make like a ham and cheese toasty. The Americans know what that is. Kind of like a ham and cheese grilled cheese kind of thing. But I discovered you can get this kind of like kielbasa um, garlic bread. So I'm gonna cook that and then turn that into a cheese and ham sandwich. Because I've done it before and it's really good. So that's what I'm gonna work on. But I need to pop this in the oven, let it cook for a while, and then I can get on with that. Okay, this is what we have. It looks more burnt on camera for some reason, but it's just the two little baguettes with some ham and I put some cheese and then I melted it and it looks great. So I'm gonna go and have lunch. And it's Sunday. Um, yesterday, I didn't really do much after like I streamed and such, and that was a bit eh. Um, but it's now Sunday. I had done my overnight oats thing. I think I mentioned that. If I didn't, this will be cut out anyway. But I failed. I don't know how I did it wrong. I messed up cold porridge, but that we live. So I've got a salad um, now. So there is a place that do salads and deliver. So I got a Caesar salad here. And then I also have like a watermelon juice. So that's going to be my lunch today. I decided uh, last night or the night before that I'm starting my intermittent fasting again. So I did that last night and pretty well. I was a little bit hungry last night because normally I've been snacking at night for the last like two years. So um, going back to not snacking is going to be a while. But either way, we're going to eat good, fill ourselves up and get on with the day. Well, there we go. 
It is Monday and I have successfully, that part's depending on how the video works out, completed a week of vlogging. Um, I don't actually know if I ever took the camera out of my house. I, I don't think I did. I didn't actually really leave the house much, which is kind of an accurate depiction of my day-to-day -day life. Like, obviously I was at the vets. I wasn't going to take a camera to that. Um, but yeah, that's daily vlogging. I enjoyed it. It's been weird kind of like doing like a little like, what have I been up to diary? Mainly because I don't do things. I don't leave my house much, is what I've kind of come to realise. It's maybe something I'd be down to do more of if I know I'm leaving and doing stuff. So like not regular daily vlogs or weekly vlogs, but like maybe if I'm traveling for something or an event um, or I know I'm doing a bunch of stuff. But the main thing is it's like, even when I had people over here, like I didn't want to whip out the camera and vlog. I'd, it's just not in my nature. If I'm not sat at a computer, I don't know how to be on. <laughs> but it's definitely been enlightening. I still have a lot of respect for the people that can do it, that can just go out into public with a camera and be like, yep, that's me doing my thing, because that's not me. It's not me, I can't do it. But for now, I think I will stick to my gaming stuff, but it has been a fun experience. I've had a lot of fun doing it, and I hope it's been enjoyable to watch. I think that's really gonna come down to how well I edit it. So, we'll see how that goes. But, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like. Comment down below if you do enjoy the video, if you want to see more of this stuff. It's definitely something I will consider if I'm doing more things in my life. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you do not miss a video. And I will see you all later. Bye!